quaint, sun-dappled house, there lived a small, fluffy kitten named Luna. Her fur was as soft as the clouds in a twilight sky, and her eyes held the shimmer of the moon. Luna's days were often filled with warmth and joy, especially when her beloved companion, a little girl named Emma, was by her side. But on the days when Emma went to school, Luna's world turned quiet and gray. Each morning, as Emma donned her backpack and waved goodbye, Luna's heart would sink. The house, once a canvas of laughter and play, became an ocean of silence, vast and unending. Luna would wander from room to room, her tiny paws padding softly on the wooden floors, her whiskers twitching in the still air, The tick-tock of the old grandfather clock in the living room became Luna's only companion, its rhythmic beat echoing through the empty corridors. Luna would curl up on Emma's bed, nestling among the scattered pillows and stuffed animals, each a reminder of her missing friend. In these moments, Luna felt a deep, aching loneliness. She missed the gentle touch of Emma's hand, the sweet melody of her voice. The colorful toys lay forgotten in a corner, for without Emma, they held no joy. Shadows crept across the walls, and Luna would startle at every creak and whisper of the house, her heart fluttering like a trapped bird. But as the sun began its descent, painting the sky in hues of orange and pink, a flicker of hope would ignite in Luna's heart. She would perch by the window, her eyes fixed on the path that led to their front door her tail twitching with anticipation. And then, like a burst of sunshine through storm clouds, Emma would return. The door would open to reveal her beaming face, her arms outstretched for Luna. At the sight of her girl, Luna's fear and loneliness would melt away replaced by a joy so intense, it felt like her little heart might burst. She would leap into Emma's arms, purring and nuzzling against her, basking in the warmth of their reunion. Emma's laughter would fill the house once more, breathing life into its once lonely halls. Together, they would play and cuddle, the world outside forgotten. As night fell, Luna would curl up beside Emma, her head resting on her lap, the soft sound of Emma's heartbeat lulling her into a peaceful sleep. In these moments, Luna knew she was home, safe and loved. The fear and loneliness of the day were just shadows, fleeting and forgotten, in the bright light of their unbreakable bond. 